Yeah, it's a little warm. Hey, Coach. Hey, guys. How, how are, are you? you? It's a little warm indoors right now, but it's good for our players. It's a, you know, we're going out to a hot place in Arizona. Granted, we'll be inside, but it you know, works under condition a little bit more. We're kind of breathing, and uh, you know, it's good for us right now. Uh, Arizona is the team that everybody's shooting for. You guys have a next chance. You know, they, they've gotten better. They got some of the receivers back that were injured when we played them the first time. Uh, they're a very good football team, probably the best in the league right now, playing really well. They're coached really well. Uh, we have to bring our A game. We have to be on, on point, be disciplined, uh, execute the plays that we're running, and be smart back there, and not give them the ball when they need to. We've got to be able to control our possessions and make sure we score every time we have the ball. they doing so well. They're just... You know, they're stacked in every position. They got they got good players in all their positions. They got a very good football team. Uh, Kevin Guy could be one of the top coaches in this league with a great staff he has behind him. And he just he, he gets those guys ready to be prepared. And uh, you know, when you got an organization like Arizona and a coaching staff like them, those guys are just playing hard for them and they're winning and they're doing so. What's the strength of your team? The strength of our team? You know, it's our defense right now. I think our defense has played really well the last few weeks. Our offense is, is inconsistent right now. But when we're on in our offense, we're pretty good there too. And that's what we need to be Saturday night. Uh, we, we need to be able to win all three phases of the game. And that's includes special teams. So, you know, we got to go out there and, uh, you know, ex expect to play the best team in the league. And if we don't, if we don't match them, you know, we're going to get blown out of the building. And these guys understand that. They know where we are right now in our division and what we need to do to make the playoffs. And these guys are excited to go play Arizona. The other guys are saying that this is a do or die game. It's not a do or die game. It's a very important game for us. You know, we, you know, Spokane's got to hopefully take care of San Antonio, but we need to worry about ourselves right now. We need, if we go out there and we get, and we get the victory like we like we hope we can and, uh, and we're successful, it really helps us get to get to the playoffs. So, you know, guys know where we are right now, and you know, we just got to go out there and do our jobs. Difficult massive pin on you this year with, with everything that's going on off the field and keeping these guys uh, kind of focused on what's happening on the field. It's been hard at times, but it, you know when you got a great coaching staff and supporting staff like I have here with the guys I have, the players who have, are great character guys that know their jobs and are willing to go out there and work like they like you saw them today. That's all you can ask for. When you got guys like that and the staff like, like like I have here, it makes my job a lot easier and it, it makes me enjoy coming to work every day. Do you sort of kind of look at like what's next, or are you sort of like not surprised by anything happens? At you know, this I, point? I can't control anything right now. All I can do is control what's going on in the football field. Right now we're getting we're playing a football game. Right now everyone's in the front office is doing what they told us they would do to, to keep us going. You know we thank those guys in the front office and the commissioner and the other owners of the league that are allowing us to continue to play football. And uh, you know we're just trying to go out there and show them on the football field that we need to be there at the next level and compete for a championship. You've obviously been invested in the Rush organization for a long time. I assume that you don't want to see this organization leave Chicago. It would be a shame. You know Chicago's been around a long time. We got great fans here. Uh, it's a great sports city. I mean. Not only just for football, but baseball, basketball, and everything. So, for them to see the arena football leave Chicago, it would be a disappointment. And uh, you know, I know myself and a whole bunch of fans out there would hate to see it go. But uh, you know, the, the, the league's working on trying to get us an ownership, a legitimate one that wants to come in here and do the right things to build this program and get us back to where we were in the, in the early, in the late 2000s. You guys have said that they think that's probably the strength of the team because they've been able to kind of rally around everything that's been going on. That certainly helped. Them. Absolutely. I mean, it's amazing how close these guys have come. I mean, they've they bonded together as a group, as a family. And when you got a group like that that wants to go out there and do it for each other, it's, it makes my job a lot easier. And these guys are trying to go out there and, and win the whole thing. They don't, they're never going to play together. This team will never be together after this year, no matter what happens with, with Chicago. The guys are going to leave for free agency. The guys are going to retire and move on with their lives. So. This is the last time this, this group is going to be around, and it's a special group, and I'd like to see us win a championship. What do you say about Reggie and what he brings, you know, year in and year out to the team? He's the best in the league. You know, I have no problem going out there and saying he's the best in the league. He brings a whole new dimension to the game with his speed, the way he plays big in the red zone, how he goes up and goes to the football, how he can make plays when there isn't a play in front of him, how he can do, do it with his legs, and how quick he is. He's dynamic on kickoff returns for us. He, he's, a, he's a guy that I'm sure every team, every coach in the league would love to have. And, uh, you know, we're very fortunate to have a guy like Reggie here in Chicago, and the fans love him. Us as a staff here love him, and uh, you know he's doing everything we've asked him to do. Coach, oh, just switching gears just for a quick second. Any thoughts on the Hall of Fame? 
Not even thinking about it. I'm worried about right now. My biggest concern is getting getting to the playoffs with this team. These guys have worked too hard for me to even think about the Hall of Fame right now. And it's about going out there and competing and winning the championship and, and, and going out there and beating Arizona right now. Again, uh, the Hall of Fame thing is out of my control. It's it's the voters. If, if, if they think that I deserve to be in there, great. If not. I'll wake up tomorrow and continue to do my job. Well, not to suck up, but I did vote for you in the Hall of Fame. I appreciate so it. So we, uh, we appreciate your time, Coach. Good luck. Thanks. Thank you.